day. So let's get into story number one, a big time deal. This was one of the lower rated stories in the range to talk about, but this is one of the biggest stories going forward because there's a lot of talk about the other guy, but not about this guy. Who are we talking about? Donald J. Trump. And Donald J. Trump had good news for his platform or the GOP platform specifically because the Republicans adopt the platform that softens the language on abortion and same-sex marriage as he has asked. Now, the Republican National Committee is uh, revisiting and revising, revisited and revised his platform to soften its stance on abortion, marking a significant shift in its traditional pro-life position. The new platform moves away from the advocations for federal abortion bans reflects a more moderate approach. Change aligns with Donald Trump's influence on the party as he campaigns for his third presidential run. The revised platform also aims to appeal to a broader electorate, including younger voters and women who have shown more support for reproductive rights, something that's not necessarily a conservative issue. However, the shift has generated mixed reactions from within the actual party. People who have been hardliners, if you will. Some Republicans are supportive of the new direction, believe it to be a pragmatic approach for the upcoming elections. I, you got to win the thing. While others are unhappy with the departure from the long-standing pro-life stance, the very hard long-standing pro-life stance. We'll see how this plays out literally in November and things go go a, go a while and array and a, a ways going forward. But right now we know that the official Republican lines is a lot less strong willed on abortion and other uh, civil rights, if you will, because there are people out there who aren't hard, hardlining right folks, hardlining red folks who might vote for Trump given the choice, especially given the situation we're seeing with the other guy.